Did you see that? I... I did. It was probably just the wind. Yeah, uh, the wind. Let's go. Yeah. Sorry. Did you have to make all those scary noises? What scary noises? Oh, the footsteps. The crazy child laughter. I didn't make any of those noises. Hey, guys. Hi, Banana. How you doing? Um... Yeah, I'm okay. Um... Is something wrong? No. No. Well... What? It's just... Have you noticed anything unusual on this ship? I just... I always feel like something is watching me out of the corner of my eye. It's strange you say that, because I think we saw something too. What? We were in the cafeteria room, sitting at the table, and then... And then? The cup just moved. On its own. Neither of us touched it. Whoa. Do you think... What is it, Banana? Look, I know this sounds crazy, but what if the ship is haunted? Oh my god! S Snowball? Where are you? I'm here. Where? Oh, here you are. Banana, where are you? Banana? Banana, where are you? Oh, hey, w where's the body? Guys? This body was in navigation. Okay, what's up with you two? Why do you look like you've seen a ghost? Well, before Banana died, he said he suspected the ship might be, um, well, haunted. Ha <laughs> that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Well, actually, I heard something pretty weird at Med Bay. What? Footsteps, children laughing. It was like something from a horror movie. Mrs. Potato was there. I was, but I didn't hear anything like that. Maybe you were just hallucinating, Jeff. Mm, maybe. Look, let's just focus on this body. It's in navigation, right? Yes, and it happened in the last three seconds, so if you're with someone, then they must be clear. All right, well, me and Jeff are clear. Yep. Myself, Mr. Gritz, your mom, and Chester were all together. Okay, so that just leaves Mr. Pepperoni Man. What? It's not me, though. We've all vouched for each other. There's no other suspect. It has to be you. <gasps> Fine. If I'm going down, you're all going down with me. Mr. Pepperoni Man, let's relax. Think about this. Ah! What's going on? Oh, oh, ah! Banana was right. There is a ghost on this ship. Oh, God. Uh, but, but maybe it's a friendly ghost. Y you know, since it uh, saved us from the imposter. Y yeah, it's probably friendly. It wouldn't hurt us, right?
Uh, who are you? I am the ghost of this ship. The ghost of this ship? But aren't there always ghosts on the ship when someone dies? I was abandoned here. Left to rot. What do you mean? Centuries ago, I played a game of Among Us, just like all of you. I was just a wee little boy. I was so excited. But then, alas, I was killed by an imposter. I turned into a ghost. But when the game had ended, a glitch struck the system. Before I had a chance to return to the main lobby, I was frozen on the spot, and the glitch took hold of me. And I've been stuck here ever since. I was hiding in the background. You didn't know it, but I was always there, watching, waiting. You all had so much fun while I was stuck here. Wasting away. Sure, I did enjoy scaring a few of you. Especially Banana. The way he reacted to that writing on the wall. <laughs> Hilarious. It gets pretty hard to entertain yourself when you've been stuck here for so long. That's terrible. I'm so sorry for you. Sorry? Sorry? If you were sorry, you would have come back to save me. But we had no idea you were stuck here. Liar! How could you forget me? Haven't you noticed there's always been someone missing in your little group of friends? What do you mean? See? You don't even know it when it's staring you right in the face. That's it. Playtime's over. You've had your fun. Now it's time for me to have mine. Mr. Gritz, I'm scared. I'm scared too. Mrs. Potato, I think we're all gonna die. <laughs> you're right about that. But this time, you're not responding back in the lobby. I'll make sure you never get to go back home. <laughs> This is terrible! We have to do something, or we'll all be stuck here forever! Let's talk to the ghost. Maybe we can convince him not to imprison us here. Ghost! You don't have to do this! Shut up! Please, we can help you! We'll figure out a way to get back! It's too late for that! Wait a second. Ah, oh, I'll remember. Remember what? I'll remember now! I know who you are! What are you talking about? I'm sorry we've forgotten about you. I'm sorry we didn't remember. It must have been something to do with the glitch. But I remember now. I remember your voice. What? You said there was always something missing between us. And you're right. The missing color. Black! I'm sorry. Ninja is your name, right? Yes, that's my name. Oh my god, I remember now. Ninja! Oh god, Ninja, how could we have forgotten you? Chester, you're right. Ninja, I'm so sorry. It must have something to do with the glitch. We could never have forgotten you, Ninja. <laughs> Don't worry, 
Ninja. We're all going home now. Yeah, we'll make sure you get back home. <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. I'm sorry I got so mad. I guess I've just been so lonely. It's all right. It's our fault. We should have remembered. But let's go home now. But how? I still have the glitch. Maybe if we all go at once, it'll work? It's worth a shot. actually back! Thank you so much, everyone! I couldn't have done it without you. Now, who's up for a game of Among Us? Yeah! Hey, Jeff. I can't shake the feeling that we're missing something. Huh? I don't know what you mean. What did you think of that Among Us horror story? If you liked the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you don't, I'll appear to haunt you in your nightmares. Yeah! <laughs> See you guys next time. Today's Among Us round is starring Marvel characters! Trust me, you do not want to miss out on this intense round. We have called these superheroes and villains from all across the globe for the ultimate Among Us game! Sit back, relax, and enjoy! Hello, fellow humans. I am the great and mighty Thor. This is my brother, Loki. Huh. Please, before you continue the video, subscribe to our channel. This really helps us in making more amazing Among Us animations. Thor, you idiot. You forgot to ask them to like the video and turn post notifications on. Oh, yeah. Well, you heard him do it. And now, back to the video. <laughs> Hey there, this is Captain America, here to serve. I'm ready to fight as a crewmate for justice. Good morrow, fine viewers. It is I, the great and powerful Thor. I shall crush my enemies. Hey, I'm excited to be here. Um, uh, thanks for inviting me. I've always wanted to be an Avenger. Um, hi. I'm Black Widow. Can we get this started, or what? Oh, hey. This is that Among Us thing, right? Wait. How much are you paying me again? Huh? Oh, good. What? You want me to say the line. Seriously? Ugh, fine. I am Iron Man. I can't wait to crush these worthless beings as imposter. <laughs> oh, that Among Us thing is today. Whatever. Let's do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on one second. How are you here? I thought this was just like Marvel characters. You know, like uh, Avengers and stuff. Um, who are you? I'm Spider-Man. Listen, kid, I just do what my agent tells me. They said I had an Among Us thing today, so that's what's happening. Besides, I am a Marvel character. How come I've never seen you before? I don't know. Different universe, maybe? Uh, yeah, different universe. Best not to ask too many questions. You'll just confuse viewers. Uh, oh, okay. Greetings. I'm Captain Marvel. Probably the strongest person here. I wouldn't be surprised if I catch the imposters in the first round. Uh, Hulk smash! I will shred this universe down to its last atom. I am a survivor. I am the savior. I am inevitable. Who will win this round of Among Us, starring Marvel characters? Quick, comment your predictions below before the video ends. And now, 
Let the games begin! there. The sun's getting real low. Okay, this is unacceptable. Hulk, you can't just go destroying the whole place. Hulk mad. I don't care if you're mad. That's very uncrew-like of you. Hulk thinks Thor is imposter. Ah, Hulk. Look, we can't have the ugly beast destroying the place. Let's vote him out. It's not his fault. Bruce wouldn't destroy everything. Look at the state of the vitals room. I suppose you may be right, but... Sorry, Bruce but we can't put this place at detriment. You gotta go. I'll take care of this. of searching, I have found the Power Stone. You may have perished, but fear not, my child. Your death was not in vain, for I am here to cleanse the world of its wrongdoings, to start again, to start anew. Let them swallow in grief. But I know that with my newfound power, the world can be reborn. <gasps> I just saw Thanos standing over a dead body. Thanos is the imposter. Oh, my child. You couldn't be more wrong. I'm more inclined to believe Peter. After all, this is Thanos we're talking about. I agree. Peter wouldn't lie. Let's vote him out. Thor just vented, right in front of me. What? You did. Don't deny it. I did not vent. I don't even know where you are, Black Widow. Is this some sort of weird prank you humans do? This is not a prank. Listen, I was in office when I turned around and saw Thor hopping out of a vent. Unless there was someone who looked exactly like you, Thor is the imposter. You tell them, Black Widow. Wait a second. Loki, is this your trickery? I have no clue what you're talking about, dear brother. Ha! <laughs> I knew it! This is you, isn't it? Guys, don't be fooled by Loki. This is all a trick. He must have framed me somehow. Wait, really? I don't know who to believe. Please, dear friends, do not be biased and vote me out. Black Widow is probably right. She must have seen Thorvent, and he's just using me as a cover. But it's all lies and deceit. No, you're the one deceiving them. Oh, silly brother. Always the fool. Why, you? I'm willing to give Loki the benefit of the doubt here. He seems like a nice guy. Um, have you even heard of Loki? He's a terrible guy. He killed, like, thousands of people. Oh, he did. Well, wrong universe. Don't blame me. Look, guys, I'm pretty sure I saw Thor vent. So let's just vote him out to be safe. 
If we're wrong and it comes down to the end game, we'll vote out Loki. Sounds good to me. Fine by me. Very well. <laughs> oh, hi, Captain America. Hi, Wolverine. Um, is something wrong? Captain, I killed the first player. It's only fair that you do this one. Oh, but I can't do it. I'm a hero, not a villain. I won't kill innocent people, even if I am imposter. What? Captain, you have to. We have no choice. We need to kill if we want to win the game, and I'm not gonna be the one that carries us. You gotta pull your own weight, too. Oh, but it's just not right. Who cares? Just do it. Um, Cap? You're not gonna kill me, right? I'm sorry, Peter. I have no choice. I'm sorry. <gasps> Peter! Mr. Stark? Peter, wh what happened? Oh, God. Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. Peter! No! I found Peter's dead body in electrical. Oh, God. Tony, are you okay? Who did it? Huh? Who did it? Stark, I'm so sorry. Steve! It was you? <laughs> no, what Steve is saying is that he feels sorry for you that you had to find Peter's dead body, not that he's the imposter. <laughs> Isn't this obvious? Shouldn't we vote out Loki? That's what we agreed last time. That is true, but I'm not the imposter, so you would just immediately lose the game. Hmm. I can't tell if he's lying or not. They don't call me the god of mischief for nothing. Steve! Look me in the eye and tell me you didn't kill Peter. I... I... He was just a kid! How do we know it's not Loki? It sounds to me like it's Loki. Don't lie to me, Steve! Great. Another Civil War movie. Look, we agreed to vote off Loki when it came to the endgame. And we're at the endgame. So, let's vote him off. I agree. Fine. Let's do it. It was you! I'm so sorry, Tony. I hate lying. You gotta believe me. Congrats, Cap. You fooled him. Oh, God. W wait a second. How did he- At last. All five Infinity Stones are now in my power. Oh, no. Behold my power. Yeah, and I just don't get it. Like, if you want a pineapple, just get a pineapple. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me to buy it for you. Do it yourself. Mm -hmm. But then he was like, but I want you to buy it. And I told him, you're a grown man. Do it yourself. Mm -hmm. And he was like, what? And I was like, you heard me. And then he started to insist that we go to the grocery store together to buy the pineapple. No. Really? I know, crazy. But me, being nice, agreed to go. And when we got there, they had sold out of pineapples. Can you believe that? Wow. So then we had to go home and order it from online, which, you know, is never a good idea because fruit from online is never that fresh. And... <sighs> Um, 
You... you killed him. Mr. Gritz, you just murdered someone. But, but it was an accident. I didn't mean... Oh, God, are you the imposter? No, I'm not. You saw him. He was trying to kill the both of us. I guess that's true. Which means you're a crewmate that can kill. Look, Mr. Gritz, it's okay. Your secret's safe with me. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm not a killer. Mr. Gritz. Oh, God, how do I even get into this mess? Just this morning I was happy and ready to have a fun game of Among Us. Now look at me. I'm a murderer. Uh, what are you doing? You're not a murderer. Nobody ever has to know. Uh, I don't know, Sandy. I'm not a very good liar. What? I watched you win three imposter games yesterday. That's different. That's when I was supposed to lie. Now, now I'm just a big fat liar. A good-for-nothing killer. Imposters have an excuse because they're meant to kill. I'm supposed to be an innocent crewmate. And you are an innocent crewmate. Remember, this never happened. Are you sure we can do this? Your secret's safe with me. I told you. <sighs> okay, let's do this. We just found Banana's body at the lava pit. Yes, we found it together. It's not Sandy. Mr. Gritz didn't kill Banana either. Wait, did you guys see the dead body count? Supposedly there are four people dead already. I saw that, but I don't think that's the case. What do you mean? I mean, I think one of the dead people was an imposter. What? Are you trying to make a joke? Cause it's not funny. Do I look like I'm trying to crack jokes here, Jeff? I'm telling you there was something weird about Poop's icon. It looks like the imposter has been... Murdered. <gasps> How could you possibly know that? <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like there's a mystery to solve. You can count on me to crack the case. Now tell me, where'd you find this body again? The, by the lava pit. Splendid. Lead the way, good sir. Um, okay. I know what happened. <gasps> what happened? First, Banana stood by the lava pit, presumably to do the temperature task. Then, Poop approached, thinking he could sneak in a kill. He killed Banana, the pool thing. But little did he know that two other crewmates had been standing behind the rock the whole time. They had seen it all. Panicking, Poop had immediately attacked the two crewmates, as seen by these footmarks here. However, it appears the two crewmates outplayed Poop, because he must have fallen here, as you can see by the bloodstain here. He fell, dead, and if I could make a guess, I would assume he had fallen over a protruding leg. Then, the two crewmates, stunned and confused, immediately took the body and dumped it into the lower pit to remove the evidence of the crime. That is, the evidence they could see with the naked eye. <laughs> of course, they didn't know I would be on the case and would spot the clues immediately. How did she get all that from just a few footprints and bloodstains? So, two of the crewmates are murderers. Precisely. Well, I would guess one is a murderer and the other is merely an accomplice. What do you suggest we do? An interview. I would like to ask each of you some questions. Of course, you all should have no problem with that if you have nothing to hide. Fine by me. Me too. Uh, yeah, me too. Perfect. You can come in one by one. And remember, lying won't do you any good. Oh. Now tell me, Snowball, where were you at the time of the murder? I, uh... 
I was an electrical, ma'am. Is that right? <gasps> what task were you doing? Uh, uh, wires. I was doing wires. Hmm. Seems to check out. All right, fine. Send in the next suspect. Whew. But don't think you're off the radar, Snowball. I've got my eye on you. Where were you at the time of the murder? I, I, I was in Med Bay with Mr. Pepperoni Man. We were scanning. Can you vouch for that? Y yes, we both scanned, although he could have faked it since he got off before me, but I'm pretty sure Jeff's crew. Are you pretty sure, or are you certain? Come on, man, I need good answers here. Ah, uh, certain. Well, yes, 100% certain. Jeff is crew. Good. Very good. But I'm keeping my eye on you. Y yes, ma'am. Well, well, well. Just the ladies, eh? Got any gossip to share with your girlfriend? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you don't, do you? Nope. Hmm. So, Mr. Gritz, how are you? Um, I'm good. Want anything? A glass of water, perhaps? Um, nah, I'm good. Okay. Listen, you can tell me anything. You can trust me. Um... Got anything you want to get off your chest? Any secrets? Look, if you tell me, everything's going to be so much easier. Um... Mr. Gritz, you can trust me on this. Um, no, I don't have anything to say. <sighs> I was afraid you would say that. Can I tell you something? What? I figured out who killed Poop. Who? Sandy. What? It wasn't Sandy. Oh, no, I'm certain of this. After this meeting with you, I'm going to head out and tell everyone to vote for Sandy. It's a shame for her, really, but it has to be done. N no, it wasn't Sandy. It wasn't. Then who was it, Mr. Gritz? I, I, I... If it wasn't Sandy, who was it? Because I'm going to vote out Sandy after this. Mark my words. But, but I... Who was it? It was me! <laughs> it was me. I did it. I killed Poop, but it was an accident. I didn't mean to. <laughs> My work here is done. Wait, your mum, how did you know it was me? Oh, I knew all along, but I just needed to threaten you with Sandy so I could get a confession out of you. Oh, I see. Oh, but there's one other thing I forgot to mention. What is it? I'm the other imposter. Jeff, how you doing? Oh, hey. You look like you're struggling there. Um, yeah, I just can't seem to match the right colors. It's so confusing. It goes like this. See? Oh, thanks, your mom. Sure, but that's pretty sus, Jeff. You can't even do the wires task? Are you the imposter? No, no, I'm just colorblind, you see. Oh, really? Yes, look, a lot of us in this lobby are colorblind. It might make today's game a little more... interesting. I see. Well, I'm keeping my eye on you, Jeff. Okay. What happened? I saw Blue do it. I saw Blue do it. Me? No way. It was yellow. <laughs> You're kidding, right? It was so obviously green. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. How can there be four imposters? I swear it was Blue. It was yellow. Green. No way. 
Where even is this body? Electrical. Electrical. I wasn't even there. Okay, I'm gonna need you all to walk me through what happened. All right. Well, I was just an electrical, minding my own business, flicking the switch task, when all of a sudden, I look up and see a body. And Green is standing (laughs) over it. That's impossible. I was just in navigation with Sandy. That is true. What? Then... That means both purple and green are imposters. What? Now I think it's you. Guys, calm down. We need to talk through this if we want to work out who the imposters are. It's blue. Let's get him. What? Wait a second, guys. Let's talk about this. they both be wrong? Well, they are colorblind. Maybe they just saw the wrong person. Ah, right. So that means... Yes, there is still an imposter among us. I saw a green vent. What? Me? Yeah, it's, uh, green. How would you know, Poop? You weren't even there. Oh, um, I, I can tell. Banana is telling the truth. Huh. It's not me. Nice try, Mr. Pepperoni Man. You tried to get away with that killing admin, but I saw you. And you vented right in front of me, too. You're donezo. Banana, it's not me. You must have seen wrong. Well, why don't we just vote out both of them? Surely we'd get an imposter out by then. I'm down. Wait, we shouldn't... It's purple. It's white. It's pink. Enough. This is terrible. We have no clue who the imposters are because we're always too busy fighting and accusing each other. Look, you're all colorblind. That makes this pretty tricky. But I have a way to help us solve this. How? A colorblind test. Hello there. Hi. Here to take a colorblind test? Yep. Great. Look at this. What number do you see? Um, I don't know. Four? 
You can't see the color red. Next! After much cross-examination and analyzing, I have gathered all your data and distinguished who the imposters are. Wow, you're so smart. Who is it? The imposters are... Poop and Snowball! Us? It can't be. That's impossible. The data doesn't lie. That's it. The imposter is your mom. My mom? No, it isn't. Poop is right. It's your mom. It's not me. No, they think it's my mom, not your mom. My mom? Yes, your mom. My mom would never kill someone. Not yours, mine. Guys, it's your mom. It's not me. Yes, it is. What? Chester, why do you think it's me? I don't know. I just heard the word mom a lot, and I'm pretty sure that's part of your name, right? So it must be you. No, Chester, I know who the imposters are. Didn't you see all my calculations? Eh, I really wasn't paying much attention. Let's get her. should do something about your name. It can be really confusing sometimes. <laughs> 